So I'm João Guimarães da Costa. I'm a professor at Harvard University, and I work as a convener of the Santa Model Group at Atlas. So I represent the people that mostly study the backgrounds and the, for the Higgs boson searches. So the, the Higgs boson has been uh, one of the most interesting regions is the low mass region. And uh, there we have uh, lots of backgrounds. So the, we, the searches, the main channels currently are the Higgs to double double where you have two, two leptons and two neutrinos. There's the Higgs to gamma gamma. So this, those are two photons. And, um, uh, and then you have a very simple channel which is the Higgs to two Zs and they, where they usually go into four leptons. So the, this one has very little backgrounds, but the ones with, where you have two photons uh, or the two Ws, those have la very large backgrounds. So what we have to do is to measure the, these channels, the same signatures in the standard model, and then only when we understand that, we be can believe that they actually found the Higgs. Well, so the, the result we have so far, uh, although quite interesting, quite compelling, is still not that significant. So we do have to uh, take some more data. I would assume that if the Higgs is at the low mass where it is right now, we probably will require the two, two 2012 data to make sure that it is the Higgs. Uh, what we want to see is that the Higgs shows up in the different channels and it shows up at the, at the rates that we expect from each one of the channels and it's quite tantalizing that at this point it's showing up already on three different channels in Atlas and uh, so if the Higgs is actually at around 125, uh, 26 GV then uh, it's possible that uh, this is the actual signal. Um, now it's really uh, very exciting. So this is one of is cornerstone of the standard model. So we do need something like the Higgs mechanism to be able to to make the standard model work. So but being part of this is is quite exciting. To really uh, hope that this will bring lots of young people interested in particle physics, for instance.